Hello everyone and welcome to Grand Tour Nation, your go-to source of everything Grand Tour. Yes, it's been a while, admire my new backdrop. Um, it hasn't been a while because I've been making this backdrop, things have just been going on. Yesterday we received photos from a fan who wishes to remain anonymous of Jeremy Clarkson's farm Diddley Squat. And on the photos it looks like the site has been vandalised. Now, Diddley Squat Farm has been the centre of attention, not only from fans after watching Clarkson's farm, Amazon Prime video, watch it if you haven't, but also from his neighbours from Chadlington and the surrounding areas. They've been complaining about the increase in traffic and the increase in dangerous driving which has accompanied it. Obviously, Clarkson's fans are into cars, you know, that uh, brings some side effects. But on top of this, in a recent meeting between Jeremy Clarkson and his neighbours, he revealed that he was building a restaurant from an old lambing shed, which we saw during season one of Clarkson's farm. Now, a lot of people were okay with this. It's bringing people into the, into the area. It's another business for the area so the area can thrive. But there were obviously some people who were angered by it. Jeremy Clarkson says that this wasn't too much of an issue. The next challenge was actually getting planning permission from the council, and we know from previous experiences he's not so good at getting the right planning permission. He said, It was a mostly polite battle between the Red Tractor movement and the Red Trousers, and I think I did quite well. But now, as you can see from these photos, the area has been vandalised. The photos show Jeremy's Range Rover parked in front of the farm shop, their spray painting on the wall of the shop, a number of tents next to it on the ground, a large pile of what looks to be either dirt or possibly even manure, uh, and a sign. The photos aren't the greatest of quality, but the sign looks to be saying, no more seeds, no more soil, keep your tractors off our soil. Oh, so creative. How long do you think it took them to come up with that? No, toil, toil, that is an interesting word. Not everyone is toil, really. Anyway, Lisa Hogan, Jeremy's girlfriend can also be seen talking to a group of people on the farm in the midst of the mayhem. Jeremy has made plenty of enemies during the creation of this business, it's safe to say, but we're yet to hear anything from Jeremy on what's happened now. Clarkson's Farm Series 2 is likely to be released next year, so hopefully we'll find out a bit more of what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, but until then, let me know what you think's going on in the comments. I'm personally wondering if it's just something that's been created for the series itself, but we did post everything, uh, the images, to Facebook, and a lot of you think that um, it could be an attack on Jeremy after he did call out a few eco-warriors quite recently. We have no more information than the images that we've been sent. We don't know what's going on. We don't know whether it's an actual attack on Jeremy or um, something created for the show. But we do have some good news. Clarkson's Farm has been nominated for a TV Times Award, specifically an award which is uh, for series that are hosted on streaming sites. He's up against the likes of RuPaul's Drag Race, not that kind of drag racing, unfortunately, and Disney's new Loki series. You can vote for Clarkson by going to the link in the description. You've only got till October, so make sure you do it now. I'm hopefully going to be on this channel a bit more now. It's been a crazy couple of months. Loads of things going on. I might be attending the SEMA show with Sung Kang. Yes, that's Sung Kang. Um, it, it's going a bit mad, safe to say, but uh, things are slowing down. Now. I'm hopefully going to be showing my face on this channel a bit more. Regardless, I will keep you updated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>